Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you again for joining me. Well, there was a magnitude 4.2 earthquake near Magna, Utah. They're calling this an aftershock. Well, how long will these aftershocks last? And when the uh, Wasatch Fault Line decides to rip, are they still going to call them aftershocks or a warning? The earthquake occurred this morning at 741 local time. And so far, 5,778 people reported feeling this. And today is Utah's Shakeout Preparedness Day. What a coincidence, right? The initial earthquake occurred a oh, little less than 9.5 kilometers in depth, which would be almost 6 miles deep. And it came straight up. You can see the initial P wave. That's the first wave that travels through the earth of an earthquake. And then tension was applied going, oh, northeast a little bit. You can see the fault line moved up. Yeah, up, up, up. Using Google Earth, here we got Great Salt Lake. This is the latest earthquake, the 4.2. This 3.1, now, or 3.3, was on the 26th of March, close to the same location. And I've talked about the Wasatch Fault Line. It's off, well, it's easy to see, off over here on, on the right-hand side. And it's in several different segments. And this area of the fault line is probably the most dangerous. This area, too, has been showing earthquakes for, what, a year? Ron and I had talked about these earthquakes. He also does videos about the earthquakes. And it was suspected that some mining operation down over here was causing um, the earthquakes. I don't think so, but one never knows. But like I said, I think we may end up saying that these were warning signs that the Wasatch was ready to go. In the last week in this area, there's been 132 earthquakes. Looks like today's was the largest in a while, 4.2. Let's go down a little bit and See, we get anything larger. See, most of them are 0 0.5, 0 0.7s, all about the same depth, which would be about six miles down. Yeah, that's probably one of the largest. We got another 4.2. That was on the 15th. Same location. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, let's come down a little bit more here. See what else we might see. Yep, those two are the largest within the last seven days. Here's one Twitter post that says, So Utah had an actual earthquake aftershock on the same day as their statewide earthquake day drill. Another Twitter post. That was the first earthquake I felt at work since the 5.7 hit. It was like I had a flashback and then boom, panic attack at work right now. The epicenter. Thanks, Utah. And another Twitter post, and they keep trying to tell us this is normal earthquake behavior in Utah. is just seismically active, and maybe it is. But having gone almost 32 years and never feeling an earthquake, and suddenly a month full of them, seems a bit abnormal to me, and I would have to agree. USGS has a Twitter post. The earthquakes this week are part of the Magna Sequence. A lot of you are wondering if this is normal. There is a wide range of what is considered normal. And the magma sequence is within the range. Sometimes earthquakes barely have any aftershocks, and sometimes they have more than average. This feels abnormal to us because it's the first time in most of our lives that we've lived near an earthquake sequence like this. But for the Earth, this is business as usual business as usual first time in their lives and they're calling it usual let's downplay it some more right just remember geology is about 50 years behind in their science compared to other sciences another twitter post my only question which i know cannot be answered does this put more pressure or take away from the wasatch fault I know there's been correlation in geology history between West Valley Fault Zone, but the conclusion seemed in reverse where Walsatch sets the other off. So how many of you trust what the government says? Remember when they said it was a low probability that anyone would catch the coronavirus? 
I like this other post uh, replying to USGS. And on geology scale, asteroid strikes are normal too, right? Yep. I'm sure there was more damage to buildings that already had existing damage. This post here says I need these aftershocks to stay below 5.0 for at least two more days so my earthquake insurance policy can kick in. Here's the map of the felt reports we got up here by Logan and went all the way down here by, um, was that Merida LaSalle National Forest? I'm probably slaughtering that name. Sand Pitch Mountains. So, once again, did you feel this earthquake? Did you hear it before you felt it? What was the motion like? Was it up and down like an ocean? Uh, was it right to left? Um, have any more damage? Please put it down below and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching once again. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.